So uh, Joby and our industry as a whole has incredible bipartisan support uh, across both sides of the aisle in the U.S. as well as around the world where regulators really see uh, this new form of transportation as being a huge productivity driver uh, for our, you know, both our individual cities as well as our nations and, and the world. So let's talk about the Joby that you're showing here for the first time. You're expecting commercial service to begin next year, likely in Dubai, given the support that you've seen there. Are you still on target for that? Uh, yeah, absolutely. We're really pleased, as you mentioned, uh, with the, the six-year exclusive that the government of Dubai has, has granted us. Thrilled to have our, uh, be showing our aircraft here for the first time. People able to get in and experience it is easy to get in and is out of as an SUV, spacious, with beautiful views. Uh, can't wait to have you in it. Uh, also getting to uh, experience the acoustic signature of, of the aircraft and uh, the ease of, of piloting and flying the aircraft. You're going to be working with some specific airlines around the world. Delta is a good example uh, in North America and around the world. Um, but you're also going to be operating these as your own part of your own network. Have you mapped out specific routes like right now? For example, in Dubai, do you have areas where you're like, we're pretty certain we're going to be going from here to here? Yeah, so there's uh, four uh, vertiports that are getting built in Dubai that will be, uh, be the uh, backbone of our route network there. Uh, an example is from Dubai Airport to the marina in just 10 minutes uh, compared to sometimes more than an hour in traffic. Are you noticing a difference? You mentioned Dubai, and they've embraced your technology and Joby early on. But have you noticed a difference in terms of the acceptance of eVTOL technology in different regions around the world? Does the Middle East seem to be a little bit more advanced in terms of saying, this is the technology of the future. We want to be on the forefront. Uh, the Middle East has been fantastic. The U.S. is, is doing a great job. The, uh, here uh, in the U.K., the, there's incredible interest. Uh, we have very, very strong support with our partner uh, in, in Japan and Toyota and ANA and our partner in, uh, in Korea with SK. So uh, we see uh, so much enthusiasm from governments and uh, cities around the world. Now. EV tolls by, by nature, the E being electric, but you're already looking at other possibilities, in Q, including hydrogen fuel cells. You recently tested out your aircraft, modified for hydrogen fuel cells, 523 miles range. Realistically, do you expect this within the next five years to see hydrogen fuel cell powered EV tolls? The, the reason that we uh, announced our achievement on this, uh, on the the hydrogen electric flight was uh, to begin the conversation with regulators to uh, do the work that we've done over the past five years uh, to lay the groundwork and uh, and set up the certification basis. Uh, on the certification side for our battery electric, we've now completed the, the first three stages of certification. We're hard at work on the fourth stage, which is the testing. And uh, we want to begin that process now for the hydrogen electric aircraft so we can bring that incredible 500 mile range. Uh, imagine being able to take off from Absolutely. a port here and fly wherever you want to in Europe. So to get back to my question, if you had to look at in the future and say, my gut tells me by X date we probably start to see these types of flights. What do you think? By, the, by this decade, or are we looking more likely after 2030? We're, we're going to bring that on as fast as we possibly can. We're not going to announce a specific date today, but uh, that is that capability, taking the, the Vertiport in, uh, investment that we're making, the software stack, the pilots, everything that it takes to operate these aircraft, and being able to leverage that for uh, longer range flights is really, really exciting. Joe Van Bever, 